Okay, let's create a model so we can view uh, external websites inside our own React web application. So, in order to do this, first of all, if you don't already, you should install React Strap and Bootstrap dependencies in your React application. Once you do that, create a new component. I'm going to call it model link. Import uh, required components. React Bootstrap, React Strap, excuse me. Oh, and also we need to import uh, use state hook, since so we're going to use it, and a button. Also, this all of this code can be found uh, in the description. I'm going to copy it. And also, if you want to read more about models or other React Strap components. I'm going to leave a link to the React Strap documentation in the description as well. Okay, so let's see. Let's do this first. Uh, I'm going to export the model link component. And we're going to render it. Okay, so it works. I'm going to comment this out for now. I know, actually, I'm going to put it. inside the model, so we can see a clock inside. Oh, that's a bad idea. I shouldn't do it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to just comment it out. Okay. So, let's do this. model header and just use title for now model body uh, this is where the external website will be and uh, model fo footer uh, we can use use the footer to contain a button to close the model okay let's create the hooks and a Google method, so we can open and close our model. Oops. Set model. Oh, sorry. I'm not. I'm not familiar with hooks. I've been using class-based components for so long. So the default value is false, so that the model doesn't pop up when we open the application. And what's this? Model header is not defined. Okay. I just fix it. Model header is not defined again. What's the problem? Um. Well, whatever. Um, okay, so let's make an on-click event. Oh, it should be on the button. Oh, 
so oh uh, not this 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 open the default value is false so will be closed unless we change the state and to go Okay. Let's make it so that OK button closes the model as well. And give it a, I don't know, maybe a green color. Okay. And in the body, we shall use the iframe tag for our external website. And for now, the source, I will hard code the source. Uh, I'm going to use my, my website for this example. But ideally, you should use a prop for this. Okay, so we can see it working, but it's pretty ugly now, so let's fix that. <laughs> oh, so first of all, let's put the button in the middle. Hmm. Okay, so let's make the model a little bit, yeah, let's make it a little bit bigger. And let's make it so that the, the whole model is, let's say, 75% of the vertical height of the website. Okay, so in order for this to work, we need to make the iframe bigger. So the height should be, oops, 100%. The width as well should be 100%. So let's see how this looks now. Mm. Oops, I misspelled height. Yeah, so now it looks better. We also want to disable this ugly border shadow. So in order to do that, we're just gonna use border style is none. Oops. Let's make a uh, it's a little bit more round. Let's maybe give it 10 pixels. Yep. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Also, something of note uh, is that there are some websites that you cannot embed in an iframe. For example, for example, Twitter. Yeah, it denies the embedment of the whole website, so if you have this problem, you should read the 
website's documentation on how to embed certain links from that website. So that's it, and good luck.